I will let you know. Okay, here we go. So this, today we're going to go over butane burner setup and safety, convection oven setup and use. This right here is butane, okay? And you have to be, one thing you want to be careful about with butane is where you store it. You store it always in a fireproof cabinet when not in use. Uh, we do not have a fireproof cabinet in here, uh, but we have a, one in a janitor's closet where we keep the butane. Um, it just, But the main thing is, to remember to never put it by a grill or a fryer or burners or anything like that. Why? Somebody give me an answer. Why would you not want to put this fuel by the stove? It would explode. Very good, Sean. Okay. These are portable burners right here that we use. Uh, this is the case for them. They all come in their own case. And I'm going to show you how to put the um, butane into these. Oops. So this is the top of the canister, and if you notice this right here where the blue is, that's where the fuel comes out. And this notch is very important to look at, all right? Um, it's how you place it into the apparatus itself. So here's butane insert. If you see where this little blue, this little blue square is, this little tab right here is where you have to insert the can with that groove. And I'll give you a better picture here. Do you see this? If you can, hopefully you can see right there that little slot is. It's got to line up, or it won't work. Somebody give me a yes. Thank you, Aiden. Okay. Now here's the next step. Pull the lever, and it inserts the butane. Close the hatch. Now you got to turn it on. You got to turn it all the way, and you'll hear a click. And that's how you turn it on, okay? Let's look at it one more time. Turn the lever. Oh, wait. Sorry. Lever. Close that. You have to turn it all the way to turn it on. And then you can adjust the flame afterwards. So once you're done, let's move to the next slide. Open the hatch. Lift up to flip, flip the lever remove the canister, and back into the fireproof cabinet. Now, here is my concern about these. Usually we do these and they're not under our hood system. Remember when we talked about the hood system? Tell me somebody, say yes. Say yes, chef. I remember when we, yeah, okay. These are not under the hood system, and I'm worried about the new fire alarms they have in. They're pretty sensitive, so we're going to have to be careful when we start using those because of the fire system. All right. Now, we're going to move on to something else. This is the convection oven. These are by the baking station. Does anybody know the difference between a convection oven and a regular standard oven? And I might get out of this PowerPoint for one second to look at something. But uh, does anybody know the difference between a convection oven and a, a regular oven? Anybody? Let me see if I can find this picture. Here's a hint, if you can see this picture. What is this right here? What does this look like? Somebody. Yeah, okay, very good, Gracie, very good. Yeah, it's a fan, Emma. Good job, guys. Uh, convection oven is convection heat, and a fan moves the heat around so it's more even. It is also hotter. Uh, so usually, oh, by the way, this is a double stack convection oven. That just means two ovens are stacked on top of each other. Now, the one thing you need to remember about these is a convection oven is 25 degrees hotter than a standard oven. So let's say we had a recipe for cookies, all right, and it said bake at 350 degrees. What temperature would you put this convection on then? If you look right there, there's your answer. Somebody give me an answer. 350, 25 degrees less, what would that be? 
Anybody? Guys, can you hear me back there? What's that? Give me an answer. Three twenty-five. Thank you, Cameron. Three twenty-five. All right. Now let's talk about how to turn this on. This is the gas valve here. I'm going to try to use this highlighter. This gas is where you turn the gas on. There's that's not a highlighter. Um. Do you guys see this blue handle right here? This is where you turn the gas on. Okay. There's two of these. There's two for each oven. One for each oven. There's two handles. Okay, you need to turn this. When you flip it this way, see how it's going this way now? This is on. When it's towards the wall, the gas is on. Okay, the gas is on towards the wall. Now, after the gas is on, all you have to do is flip this switch right here to on, set the temperature you want, and you're pretty much ready to go. But you do need to know this. Let me show you this picture of the oven really quick. I might have to wait one second. Let me see if we can see it in this one. Can you guys see this box right here? First, there's like a little box up here. This box contains parchment paper, like paper liners, pan liners for sheet pans. That's where we keep them. I just thought I'd tell you that since we're already going over this. This is where the pan liners are, okay? These doors are tricky, people. You have to open the right door first and then, op and then open the left door. And then the opposite goes when you're closing it. You have to close, like if we're closing this, you have to close this door first because there's like a little thing here and then this door kind of overlaps the other one. So remember, close the left door first and you open the right door first, all right? This oven also has its own exhaust system, okay? Um, and that goes right outside right here. That's that's where it's, it, it, the exhaust goes out right here. And this is the hood system we talked about the other day. Okay. My One of my main concerns is we got to be careful with this new uh, fire alarm system is uh, if we burn something in this oven, you open it, sometimes that fan will blow smoke out, and I'm just worried about that. So we're just going to have to be careful not to burn anything. Okay. Is everybody good so far? All right. Here we go. Let's get into Schoology. Let's take a quiz, everybody. You're going to go to the week number six folder. Week number six, portable burner and convection oven. Click on that. Let me know when you're ready. Are we about ready? How about my people in my classroom? Are we ready? All right, let's do this. If you're having a problem, let me know. Okay, what type of fuel is used for portable the portable burners? A, butane. Very good, Sean. Butane is the answer. Butane is the answer. Moving on to, everybody got that? Number two, where is the correct storage place for, for portable burner fuel? A, fireproof cabinet, B, laundry room, C, kitchen office, D, classroom. That's right, Sean, fireproof cabinet. All right, next question, I want somebody else to answer. Thank you for answering, Sean, but I want somebody else to answer. A lever is used to release the fuel canister from the portable burner. True, very good, Aiden, thank you. True, remember it's right here. Here's the lever to remove the canister, all right? True. Almost done, guys. The temp let me have a different answer from somebody. What is the temperature? Thank you, Emma. Let me read the question first, Emma. What is the temperature difference between a standard oven and a convection oven? 25 degrees difference, okay? So if you ever have a recipe 
and it says preheat the oven to like if it's 375 then it would be 350 okay somebody new answer the convection oven has its own exhaust system true or false true or false somebody answer Levi, thank you for answering, but that is not correct. If you look here, remember, true. Thank you. That's very smart of you, Levi. You, you got it on the second try. Uh, let me show you guys. This, you can see this tube right here. This is the exhaust system, okay? Did I, did I, yeah, there's the exhaust system, remember? Okay, last one. The double stack convection oven has two separate gas layers, le levers. True or false? Somebody new. Come on. Somebody answer. Thank you, Levi. True. Boom. We are done there. Okay. That is that. Now... If you understand everything, tomorrow we'll be going over how to light uh, the stoves and, and do the same kind of thing again. Any questions? Any questions? Remember, you can always message me if you have questions, okay? If not, if you understand everything, give me a yes and a bye. Bye, Sean. Bye, Austin. Bye, Brecken. Bye, Kaylee. Bye, Aiden. Bye, Levi. Bye, Cameron. Bye, Tucker. Bye, Retea. Bye, Emma. Bye, Levi. Again, Campbell. Bye, Uriah. Who else is here? Bye, Kelsey. Chef. Yes. My internet wasn't working. It wouldn't let me in the meeting until now. Who is it? Jack. Hi, Jack. Did Are I you? miss anything? You did, but... Uh, when are you coming back again? Uh, you still there? Yeah. Um, hold on. Let me do something really quick. Sorry. <laughs>